Dear students, in this video, you will see previous year questions part 3 of ICET question paper. Questions are related with computer terminology and business terminology. 10 marks are there for 10 questions, right? Previous two videos in the same uh, category, that is computer and business terminology are uploaded. You can check that if you have already not done. Right, if you like the video, click on the like button so that it will be shown to many other students. First question, a sequence of instructions used to perform a task in software. Instructions means like the programmer, the person who writes the code will give some instructions or lines of program we can say something like that in general. Right, instruction, we write several instructions now in the program. So, this is what known as algorithm, right? Algorithm means sequence of instructions used to perform a task in software. The correct answer here is algorithm. Now, second question. Bus is a, in computer terminology, what is known as bus, right? See, inside computer, there is something known as a motherboard. If you have laptop something, there is a, a big board is there on which all the small, small circuits are there. Many circuits are there, like semiconductor, electronic circuits, integrated circuits, all those things are there where your RAM and all those things are, all those things are fixed, right? How the communication takes place between the two devices in the board, right? There are many devices are there, hundreds of small, small devices are there. In, so, how the communication or data transfer or signal transfer takes place from one device to another device inside your computer between the hardware device. So, a bus is a circuit that provides communication between two or more devices of a digital computer system. And inside the computer, between two hardware parts, the data flows through a connection that is known as a bus. Now, third question. CMOS stands for CMOS, C M O S in computer terminology. What is the meaning of CMOS? And the correct answer here is complementary metal oxide semiconductor. Right. Complementary metal oxide semiconductor is the correct answer. It is a semiconductor technology. Semiconductor means like electronics in the field of electronics, right? Semiconductor technology used in most of today's integrated circuits. Many circuits are there fixed. Uh, that is what integrated circuits we can say. So, CMOS stands for complementary metal oxide semiconductor. Next question. A set of actions aimed to infiltrate computer net networks. Infiltrate. Okay. Infiltrate means something the person who does not have the proper authority trying to access the network, who is not having proper username, proper password, the proper username, he is not a valid user, but still trying to access the network and access the personal devices. That is what we say known as. So, with this explanation, you might have clearly understood the correct answer here is cyber attack, infiltrate computer networks, right? Cyber attack. Next question. Monitor and keyboard are examples of. Right. So, compass most, most of the time this question will come. What are input examples of input devices, examples of output devices, uh, or which, some options will be given. You have to identify whether it is input or output and all those things. So, monitor means the screen where you are seeing the data. So, monitor is an output device. Keyboard is an input device. So, input and output devices. Input and output devices in computer are known as peripherals. So, peripherals and input and output devices both mean the same. Right. So, what is a monitor? This question may come. Example of output device. Because when we type something, when you open a file, where our uh, information is, uh, the data is shown on the monitor, on the screen. That is output device, what is shown. How you send the data to the computer? By using keyboard. So, it is input device. If you see mouse. What is the what is mouse input or output device? Mouse uh, is also input device because using mouse we mouse we send signal to computer where we want to click, where we want to perform some action, etc. Whereas scanner, what about scanner? This question also came several times in the exam. Scanner is an also example of input device because we scan the documents to send into the computer. 
right printer what about printer input or output device so printer is an output device because from computer we want to send something on the printer so printer output so common name for in both input and output devices is peripherals next question this is from business terminology a sequence of activities that must be performed from initiation to completion of a task initiation is from starting to end sequence of activities one after other we do series of steps no so what is that known as very simple this is workflow from initiation to completion the sequence of activities are steps workflow next question in business terminology an increase in general level of prices caused by excess demand what is this known as an increase in the level of prices every year the prices of oil or sugar or rice or something like this will increase no that is what is known as inflation so increase in the level of prices due to demand or as the time goes on that is what we can say as inflation in business terminology next question lvr stands for what is lvr so the correct answer here is loan to value ratio loan to value ratio this is the correct answer lvr what is loan to value ratio financial organization for example banks or any lenders what they will do before giving the loan or before sanction of loan they will assess they will assess whether giving this one loan to a particular person or organization is beneficial or not right so that assessment is known as lvr loan to value ratio that means when you go to a bank and say i need 50 lakhs loan me they will not give like this no they will assess whether giving to you the mortgage or loan is beneficial to the bank or not whether they can recover or not whatever it is so that is what loan to value ratio then the next question a business model that facilitates purchase or sales of products and services online nowadays we are having this thing no we can purchase we can sell how online what is this e commerce right e commerce means purchasing and selling online this is possible how e commerce is possible it is only possible because of the internet without internet this e commerce is not possible so now next question dash includes the activities of innovation innovation that right? new things finding out something new things innovation and introduction of new pro products so dash includes the activities of innovation and introduction and introduction of new products innovation means doing something research how will get the innovation new things only by doing research so research and development is the active includes activities which is of innovation and introduction of new products only if r and d research and development is done then only new products are find out otherwise it is not possible so now what you have to do with this um, i have completed if you like this video do like right so that it can be shared with other youtube show will show it to other students if you think this video is useful you can share with your friends because sharing is caring and subscribe to the channel if you are you know, thanks for watching.